Hey guys, Rich here and welcome to another video. In this video, it's going to be five minutes and I'm just going to provide you with an update about my Redbubble store. So straight away, let's dive in. I started my Redbubble store on the 14th of July and I uploaded a couple of designs on the 15th of July. And so that's what we're basing this on. So that's around four months as I record this video. It's now the 18th of November. So in four months, let's dive into my dashboard just to quickly show you and I want to just provide you with my own personal opinion about Redbubble and whether I think this could be um, a method whereby we could make a full-time income or not uh, and maybe some alternatives that I've done in the past in terms of making money online okay whether I think they are better or not okay so very quickly here are my earnings summary on my dashboard and you can see that I've made 58 pounds and 57 pence <laughs> from my sales. And you can see that I started in July the 14th and I made around eight pound in July and 18 pound in August, 11 pound in September, 14 pound in October, and so far in November, five pound 27. I have around 150 designs on my Redbubble store at the moment and I have tested out promoting my products on Instagram. That, I don't want to say it was a waste of time, but gradually as I uploaded more and more products onto Instagram, uh, I was getting less and less engagement. <laughs> so it was really starting to drop off and I didn't know whether it was worth my time in the end to carry on uploading to Instagram. I actually tested out using TikTok and I uploaded two videos on TikTok uh, around a particular niche. Then I linked to, well, I, and then I provided a link, so in text, to my Redbubble store at the end of the video uh, with an image of that, you know, t-shirt or whatever it was. And I had around 400 views on each of those videos. I think one did about 600 views, one did 400 views. And I was really, really surprised about that because I wasn't expecting to get that many eyeballs on those videos. But I really think there could be potential in using TikTok as a way to promote our products. Especially if you're niching down into a particular niche that's passionate. You know, you could do, you could grab lots of videos from YouTube and TikTok itself you could start uploading it to TikTok and then just leaving your link at the end of each video with a, an image of your product. Uh, and then, you know, once you've got over a thousand subscribers or whatever they call it on TikTok, uh, you can then start to add an actual clickable link in your bio whereby they can click through into your products. Now there are ways of buying subscribers on TikTok, so maybe you want to spend around fifty dollars to you know get those first thousand, so that you can add that clickable link straight away. Might be an option. I don't know, but I think maybe that would be a good route to go down. If I was trying to advise someone just based on those two videos that I was really surprised about, I would probably say TikTok had more potential than definitely Instagram. So yeah, that's just you know from what I've done so far over these last four months. Um, so let's just have a look at the traffic here. So here we go. Here's my traffic sources. You can see July, um, it, I was really trying to build up that social media and you can see eight, eight people came to my products through social media. That was because I knew that in the beginning I wasn't going to get any traction in terms of SEO or any sort of Google rankings or even um, indexing on Google. So I knew that I had to do this manually. So that's what I did. So they are the eight that I sent over. And like I say, in July, I managed to make some sales doing that. And you could see uh, we had eight from social media, seven from directly, four from Redbubble themselves and one organic. So August, you could see seven came from social media, five from other six direct, 10 from Redbubble and 17 from organic. So this was when I started to really try and search for, you know, everything that I've showed you on this YouTube so far in terms of the keyword research methods. So this is when I really kicked it up and I started to do that. 
you can see here now we have one social media so this is when I started to drop off posting on Instagram uh, zero other 18 direct 16 Redbubble and 51 organic so that bumped up quite a lot there uh, which was good in September I think I made the most sales in that month as well and you can see it's just dropped a little bit in October three social media six other 12 direct 26 from Redbubble and 34 from organic and finally we have November so far two from social media two from other seven direct 22 from Redbubble and 26 from organic now here's the thing I actually uploaded all of my designs pretty quickly in around September October time and since then I haven't really uploaded any new designs I uploaded a couple last week and a few the week before but it's really slowed down for me uh, since I had COVID and I was ill for two weeks <laughs> and then I had to catch up with everything else and yeah so I've really dropped off but I personally just from judging by these results here you might be surprised here or not that I'm not sure about how viable Redbubble is in terms of making a full-time income so if I have 150 designs and I'm making 58 pounds from that over four months it's not much at all is it so even if we were to times this by 10 so if we went and we created 1500 designs let's just say with we, we times the earnings by 10 as well and we have around 580 quid of those 1500 designs over the four month period 580 pound still isn't really that much for four months work so that's four months but on the other hand i can see how you could perhaps make this a viable option if you were to put your time and most importantly to create those designs it's just very time consuming for the amount of money that you make that's the only thing so i've got mixed feelings about it the one thing that I would say is that I would be very interested to see how you could get on in terms of creating a TikTok niche channel, so to speak, uh, and doing it using that method. I'd be very, very interested to see that. I think the next thing that I'm going to do is maybe work on opening an Etsy store. So I wanted to use Redbubble as a way of getting some experience and for creating designs and things like that and then i always had my eye on opening an etsy store next to see if that works any better um, and i can then use some of these methods that i've learned to actually sell on etsy as well i'm interested in actually creating digital products on etsy based upon the experience i have of you know creating different things uh, for online course creators and membership site owners and mo online marketers and things like that that I've had uh, experience with over these last six or seven years. So yeah, that's my take on what has happened so far over the last four months. Um, I would love to hear your results because I would love to see what the actual norm is, so to speak. I'd love to try and gauge what the sort of average earnings figure is for four, a four month period that would be very interesting to see but i do believe that this could be potentially something that you could add an income for but not a, a, an actual full-time income just something on the side and then if we work on say affiliate marketing etsy maybe some amazon and things like that maybe you want to start diving into uh, creating your own online courses or membership sites I think those there that I've just mentioned, they are much more viable options than Redbubble. Personally, just from my personal experience of selling on Amazon and doing close to a million from 2015 until 2019. Uh, and then from also creating and selling online courses from 2016 to 2018. And also from doing affiliate marketing from 2016 until 2020. Okay, so I will be talking about all of this that I've just mentioned there on this channel because I think that we can start to create multiple streams of income, including Redbubble as that because now we've created those designs they're just going to sit here and they will make sales i'm still making sales to date from the designs that i created so that's good um, 
so down like sort of so from that perspective that's pretty good uh, i just don't know how viable it is in terms of the time it takes to create the designs and then the amount of profit you make per sale still the jury is out on that one uh, for me personally but i think there's potential with this whole sort of method but maybe selling on etsy okay so that's my next sort of train of thought and my next focus i think moving forward so yeah that's it for this video i hope that you have enjoyed this and like i say please do leave a comment below just telling me what your four month figure looks like because i think it would be an interesting experiment to see you know just how people are getting on with redbubble uh, right now because i'm not here to sort of try and make out as though you can make a full-time income on redbubble i was just experimenting and curious to see what it was like and uh, i i have no problems i've got nothing to sell you whatsoever so i've got no problems saying that you know whether i think something is working or not okay I see a lot of people on YouTube trying to make out as though something is better than what it is just because they have an ulterior motive of selling you something or um, maybe, you know, trying to build up a following or whatever it may be. I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in experimenting on different methods of making money online and then just coming back to you with my findings. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, leave a comment below and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Um, I have lots of ideas in the pipeline for this channel. Um, so yeah, it all revolves around making money online. And I hope to share some successes with you that you can then implement yourself. That's it for me and I'll see you very soon. Take care.